Hey guys, hi and welcome to the part 3 of essentially data modeling one to many relationship in DynamoDB. Essentially, I started learning and exploring a lot about DynamoDB, one to many, GSI, global tables and etc etc. This part I want to essentially cover composite primary key example. All the tutorials I have essentially learned by Mr. Alex Debri, watching his videos, vlogs and other lot of YouTube videos as you can see on my screen. All right, so enough of that. Now let's get started with the uh, video. So I'll go to his blog where we are going to discuss the third access pattern, which is composite primary key uh, plus query API action. So now we are modeling again one to many relationship. For example, each organization has many user, right? So the access pattern here is basically, hey, give me uh, uh, give me all the user within an organization. So in which case you will have partition key as your you know microsoft and then your sort uh, you'll get essentially all the user right now the second access pattern is even more interesting for example hey give me a particular user in the organization i just want particular user in that case you have the partition key as org so you'll fetch this particular uh, block of element and then you can use a sort key and say give me the user that starts with the word you know user hash bill gates in that case you will only fetch that particular user and see here how we are essentially doing one to many relationship, right? Uh, in the first part, essentially refreshing a memory, we did essentially a complex attribute, right? Denormalization using complex attribute. So the goal there was essentially, remember we had the author and book example, Mr. Alex Debris showed. And here we essentially uh, model that um, one to many relationship using a map operator. If you remember the slide correct, this is part number two. So if I go to part one, uh, shortly so here sorry here we have a customer and address example and we model using a map operator right and then mr alex told us when shall we use this right uh, so he essentially gave us uh, when to use this access pattern right the second access pattern we learned about was a denormalization by duplicating data here we had an example of author and books right and we essentially were duplicating data and mr alex debris said when to use this access pattern the third one now is essentially is this one that is composite uh, composite primary key plus query API in action. So let's model this uh, here in uh, NoSQL Workbench, which is a free software by AWS. So now let's get a data model, uh, not the import one. I have to click on create data model. And here we'll say orgs, uh, and then we'll give it an author. Click on create. Now here I'll create my tables one to many, right? So now remember Mr. Alex Debris said, uh, you have a partition key. So now we'll have org as our partition key and our sort key will become essentially user, right? So each organization has many users. So as you can see, Mr. Alex Debris has already showed that, right? So user, right? And then um, each of them can have following attributes, right? You, uh, each user can have username, user type, blah, blah, blah. So now here I can say, username and you can say user type right so we can have that and then essentially we can click on create table right so once the table is created right now i can show you by adding some data here so i'll click on add data now the for, uh, first one let's say uh, microsoft right uh, user we can do user hash bill gates uh, then essentially we have a name, we can just say whatever, uh, username, whatever you want to give, uh, alias, whatever type, member, right? click on add. Now see how I can, you know, add the same one, MSFT. Now uh, this is user, uh, let's say, Saumil, Sam or whatever the alias. Okay, and then whatever you want to give, let's say ABC or foo, whatever. So now if I go to the aggregate view, as you can see here, you have a partition key and then you have a user. So now what you are uh, simulating here is one to many relationship, right? So now you can come here and say, hey, for uh, a given organization, give me all the user or fetch particular user in an organization, right? So you could do all of that uh, very easily now, right? So coming back to his blog here, right? So 
Mr. Alex Debris says of all, all the stuff that I just said, retrieve an organization, retrieve an organization, and all the user within an organization, retrieve only the user within the organization, right? We could do that. Retrieve a specific user, right? We could also do that. Um, so now uh, that's that. Now the second part that I'm going to cover is the fourth access pattern that is going to be secondary index plus query API in action. Okay. So, so far uh, we have seen three of them. That is the first one, if you remember and try to recollect uh, was denormalization by using complex attribute, right? So you could essentially, we, we did a very simple one where customer has many addresses, right? So we made a map operator there, right? One to many relationship, then denormalization by duplicating data. So here we are duplicating data, right? And the third one was composite, uh, composite primary key plus query API in action, right? So these are three. And then the next one I'm gonna see, or we're gonna learn and read about secondary index and the query API in action, which means essentially setting up LSIs or GSI. And we'll take a look at that in, in, uh, in the next video.